could we speak about color scott can we speak about yeah, so that's kind yes. of Yes, no, I think it's, we, we love new stories. Uh, as you've seen with us in the last few years, we also believe for now a long, long time this, that African-American artists have been undervalued and underseen in a major, major way. Uh, so the same thing we did with, you know, Kerry James Marshall with um, Pastime. I remember talking to you about this one before selling it. Uh, the record for Collie Scott was $900,000. <laughs> but when we got, uh, you know, offered that, you know, absolute masterpiece of George Washington Carver crossing the Delaware, we saw something which was special. And um, we thought about pricing it, which was basically impossible. And it's pricing the very best work of an artist like him. And uh, we thought we had to make a statement, a proper one. And so we went with a 9 to $12 million estimate. We also gave a house guarantee. Um, and you've seen last night, I mean, there was three bidders chasing it, sold for 13.1, million million all in. And it's public now. It has been announced and bought by the Luca Museum. And for um, how much? I don't remember. For $15 million all in. Yeah, voilà. One five. Okay. okay, so the world record, the previous one was 900,000. We sold it, this one for 15 million. So, but uh, do you think uh, it's, uh, it's an exception for an exceptional painting or it's for color scott in general? No, it's, it's first and foremost an exceptional painting. So the prize is definitely disconnected with the rest of, of Cole Scott. Now, I think it's going to definitely help him be recognized in a very different way. But I think this painting, which was the Cover Art Forum, which has been exhibited and seen you know, everywhere in America for a long, long time. But more than anything, the image was... So just to tell the story of the painting. So it's, it's the, one of the most famous American painting, and in Europe we know this a little less, was this famous painting done by Lotze, this American or from German's um, origin that painted uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware during the Revolution War um, in, the, in the 18th century, end of the 18th century. So Cole Scott there take um, the very same image and rebuilt it completely using another George Washington, George Washington Carver, which was this amazing African-American scientist that was key in many developments around you know, agriculture in America in the early 20th century, before the civil rights. Um, he's considered probably the most important scientist uh, in the African-American community, early 20th century. And Cole Scott take this amazing man that has been completely unrecognized because at that time African-Americans were not recognized and rewrite or at least um, take a, a bite at this American history and rebuild completely the, the painting that Lutz did, which is at the Metropolitan, by the way, and use what he feels at that time, we are in 1975, how basically white people are looking at black people. And if you look, so you've got George Washington Carver on the boat and surrounded by people with obviously how they were looked and how the, the job opportunities these guys could have at the time, which was basically being a cook, being a jazz player, being a hooker, um, being this poor guy just fishing for, for eating, like really, really hard lives and makes, I think, this amazing painting, which is... But recently uh, in Hong Kong, there was a, another color scot sold for like uh, 400,000. Yeah, a bit more. I think uh, 600. But yes, which was a good painting, but nothing similar to this. I think there's, there's something, it's the same time, same thing with, you can say with K. James Marshall, with other artists, I mean, or any artist, by the way. Uh, last night we sold a, a, a Monet for seventy-two million dollar. We also unsold another one for three million. So I know people think when they are not well-known market that every single painting has been to be worth the same time. No, we're here to or try at least to recognize when something is exceptional, when something is not, and the yeah, price difference is. Uh, yeah. We say we say that uh, African American artists are now. Uh, more valued, but for example, there, there was a Charles White and it was not a big price either. Uh, estimated five to seven hundred thousand dollars or for a million four. But Charles White is a very important historic. 
think I, I, that... I cannot agree more with you. This was still the second largest price ever achieved for Charles White. It was also a work on paper. Um, so yes, but still the second biggest prize achieved for the artist. So yes, we would love even more. But again, it was bought by a fantastic American collection I'm working with, actually. And yes, still a second prize for the artist. So yeah. yes, or we'll see. We'd but love to have don't more, you but... think Charles White uh, deserve a better value? Who am I to say if it deserves better value? But I would say, <laughs> I think what's very interesting, and I think the, to have the two is very interesting that you are mentioning. I think the color scott is a proper statement. It's something that has never been said before and is a, a testimony of, of an entire generation. I think the Charles White is more an image, a very poignant image, a very strong image, a very touching image, but probably less relevant, uh, definitely less for me, relevant than the Cole Scott. Still an amazing guy, as we know. The, we talked about him a long, long time ago already when we introduced Charles White for the first time in our evening sale. Still an amazing artist, but I don't think with the reach and the power of someone like Cole Scott, especially in that painting. Okay. Um, I was surprised to see that for Banksy, you were accepted crypto money. Yeah, I mean, we have to try new things. I mean, you know, you know us now, Judith, so we always try new things. And I think this was an interesting combo, which was first, uh, it was a discussion with us and, and the seller. And we said, look, we feel this is something that could be interesting. And um, the seller was very... That's why it's called Banksy. It's, we could have done it with other works. I think this was a discussion we had with the seller, which was happy to receive cryptocurrency as a form of payment. Not everyone is... So it means, it means that you will pay the seller in cryptocurrency and he finds someone to translate it in real money? Yes, exactly. I mean, the, the seller agreed to be paid in cryptocurrency. Oh, wow. That's yeah. interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, And by the way, I've yet to check because I don't know if the buyer is going to pay in crypto or is going to pay in US dollar because we were giving the option to buyers on this lot. What about uh, Ahol Donka? First time, one million, right? Yeah, exactly. I think it has been, you know, um, coveted as one of the most, you know, interesting young European painter from Belgium. I think this was probably one of the best, if not the best painting to ever come up again. So that was very nice to see good competition there and a new world record, record for him. And one sees that Harold Dankar is more expensive than Kiefer in your auction. Okay, yes. Alors, if I may, the Kiefer was also seven meter long, four meter high. <laughs> like, in order to display that Kiefer, either you have a museum or you have a house, which is not exactly the regular size. So, yes, we can always make comparison between young and older artists. Or... And we are here for that. <laughs> 